It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. Huh. Nice to meet you. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Get me out of here! This is the violation of my rights! Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights! Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. 
Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. My name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the air competition in the bag. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner's going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? Hi, I'm La... You are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Thanks. You ain't so hot yourself. I never said I was, but sheesh, have you taken a look at yourself lately? I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. What is this, a beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. It's more like a least ugly contest. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. I'm Laverne. That's regrettable. 
Perhaps you should see the doctor. What's upstairs? Nothing that you need to worry about. An old time capsule and some worthless human relics. And, of course, the showroom. Off limits to humans, naturally, except for the showroom. Nice clock. Rather, no one is to touch it, especially humans. Is that a real mustache? Hmm. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had a tentacle costume or something, but I can't even sew. There's a letter here for you. For me? Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Wanda will be standing by to take your call. That's the second coolest pocket protector I've ever seen. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. It's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. 
Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good. And so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again?
Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrants will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Has anyone ever escaped from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Why, I once trailed a renegade human for six days. He led me clear through the hills and up to the top of those mountains to the west. Possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Putrefied squirrel intestines? Good heavens! Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. Couldn't I please touch the clock? Sorry, no. No one touches the clock while I'm on duty. Aren't you curious about what's inside the clock? Not really. Guarding it is more or less the same, no matter what's inside. Be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. <laughs> 